The wind turbines are the integral part of the energy mix in today's world. And as as we are going towards the high prices of the oil and less availability of the fossil fuel, we are tending towards the more and more towards the renewable energy. And so therefore you will be seeing that in the every university they are offering the projects on the wind turbines so that they can improve it and the students who are working on them they get the knowledge of wind turbine design and especially CFD analysis the CFD analysis basically can give you the performance of the any wind turbine in a virtual environment so this course is about that thing and my name is Sajalaman Memon and I am teaching this course and also I have the more than 10 courses on Udemy I am teaching courses also online and I have the 12 years experience in teaching and this course will give you the whole setup, the whole idea of making the civil simulation of Darius turbine from the scratch to the final result validation. And uh, in this course, although the main emphasis is based is on the 2D case and uh, we are going to use a transient simulation with uh, mesh motion. But since the 3D case may be also important for some of students, that's why I'm going to provide, the, provide you 3D case with a mesh geometry and also the fluent setup with a statistical solution. And for statistical solution, basically we, we use the frame motion and for transient simulation, we use the mesh motion. So you would be getting the full 3D case, but the solution would be statistical only thing is that. And then we will be using the one reference paper and uh, based on that paper we have the Naka profile, we have the number of blades, we have the blade height, diameter and setting angle, wind speed, run number and from this data and the graph we have in this paper we can get the data for the CP versus TSR for some particular condition so that you can see the whole procedure for that condition and then you can replicate that all thing for the other cases and uh, so we use the one software that is known as a web plot digitizer and that is to get the data for cp for the C, uh, tsr is equal to 2.5 from this, that paper for excellent data as well as from the cfd using the sst model this is the all data how we got the boundary conditions and uh, how we did the time step calculation for this turbine using the real data of this turbine and this procedure is generic and can be used for any wind turbine you can see here then we imported and we first we got the aerofoil coordinates from the website and then we made them in the format for the ANSYS and finally we created the dead file that we can read into the molder to get the aerofoil then from that aerofoil we made the three aerofoils at the required data location and also with the given chord length and uh, we made the three domains to simulate that flow properly and also we made the two wake regions to properly simulate the wake region and that is is counting two merge towards the uh, flow condition so the wake region basically will be determining the many flow properties here you can see the mesh with the with the wake region and this is the mesh at the different locations especially you can see that how many inflation here we have in the 2D cases around 30 or maybe 40 and then we have used these settings and finally we have the solution for the torque versus time step and after averaging the last time the, the last cycle for the given number of time steps in the one cycle and these are 30 time steps for the one cycle and then after averaging we compare the data in our data the error is less than 1.38% now let me show you the files you are, going, you are going to get. You are going to get this PPD file in PDF format. And also you would be getting these 3D mesh files. You would get 2D mesh files. And these all files are here. So 2D case and 3D case you would be getting the whole data over here. And this is the, there are some results for the 3D case which I can show you here. These are pressure contours on the blade surface. let me show you here so this is the pressure contour on the these three arrow files 
these three blades and you can see that the how they are behaving at different locations so i hope this course will help you in understanding the wind turbine and wind turbine simulation and this will also help you to solve your project or your maybe you can take it as a your hobby so let me know if you have any difficulty or you want to ask for the something more